What's up everybody? I'm gonna do a quick intro because we're out of the wind, but welcome to Way of Fishing and welcome to Virginia where the wind blows every single day. So we're on Lake Nottoway. This is our first time on Lake Nottoway this year. Um, don't know at what point these fish are in the spawn. There's a bass. I don't know at what point in the spawn these fish are. I don't know what he's doing. He kind of did a circle. Um, but we could luck up on some fish on a bed. Um, I'm thinking that a large per percentage of these fish are going to be post spawn. Um, and this is the only intro I can give you right now because we've got bluebird skies. Not a cloud in the sky. The temperature is about 20 degrees lower than it was yesterday. So we're dealing with a massive cold front. Um, like it, that's all we seem to be dealing with in Virginia is massive cold fronts. So pretty much a lot of places in the country, I guess. But um, there's a deep bed right here. I can't see what's on that. Uh, it's going to be almost 100 in three days. Today, the high is going to maybe hit 65. Um, yesterday, it was 85. Last night, it got into the 50s. This is just this is nuts, but can't pick your days to go fishing all the time, especially when you have a job and kids. So we spent yesterday fishing kid 06, getting his second degree black belt. Uh, some of you guys saw some footage of that on my Facebook page, uh, my Instagram, if you follow us there. So congrats to him. Mr. Second Degree Black Belt back there. Hopefully we see some uh, black belt hook sets today. We, we were gone from the house about five and a half hours for this exam. And uh, man, we were exhausted at the end of it. So, we're going fishing. Try for crappy. Might not be none. Who knows what's going on. I've caught him back in here in late June though. On the back, like on the bank, which is kind of crazy to me. But there used to be a beaver pile over there. I don't see one now. Used to be one right here, and one on the other other side. Wow, wind sucks. really see why all those boats were leaving the lake earlier. This is a lot of wind to contend with around all these stumps. I'm really trying to find something that's out of the wind. I don't even know where. I can't tell you clearly what direction the wind's coming from. Like right now it's coming this way, but when we were at the boat launch, it felt like it was coming up the lake. I don't know. Let's just try the other side. What can go wrong, you know? I mean, what, what could have hurt? White caps and stumps do not go together. It looks calmer on the other side, so we're trying to cross the ocean here. The ocean of landmines. I hate crossing the middle of this lake. Ugh. We came across the lake, which is, I hate to do that. You can see all these stumps out here. That's just a huge stump field, 25 feet deep stumps. I don't, well, treetops. I don't like it, but at least over here I can hear my son talk. <laughs> all right, picked up the jig. Couldn't cast it on the other side. I'm gonna try to cast it over here. I did do really good last spring over here, throwing a shaky head, so. Something had my bait. And it wasn't grass. I believe it. High pressure like this, these fish are relating to the bottom. I'm about to go complete finesse. Just 
shaky heads drop shots. I don't want to do a drop. I don't want to do a drop shot because the wind is too bad. Ha 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 ha. Pretty fish. Finally got one. You want to release them? That's a pretty fish. Daddy needs a break. I pulled this off my kayak. So this is a tree and what this is is just a clamp from the hardware store. You can clip it to bridge pilings or trees or if you can get there. So before doing this please check your trees make sure they don't have wasps on them. That would be bad children. So all I'm gonna do clip to it then I'm just going to rope off in the cleat now we'll move around but unless that tree breaks we I don't need to get on the motor ha 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 yes I did fishing kid got a fish all right now what'd that hit on okay you're throwing back here again by the grass so we've been struggling as y'all can see but uh he found some bluegill or something. We had some sort of bites back here by this little, these little lily pads. So um, he's been throwing a ultralight. As soon as I hit the water, it exploded. Mm, he must have thought you were a bug landing on the water. So I've thrown a shaky head. Shaky head. Uh, what? Flipping jig which I got a fish on. Now I'm trying to drop shot. I threw a slider. The wind is just too brutal for a slider worm. I can, oh, there's a bite on the, sh on the drop shot. I couldn't even get it out. Drop shot fish, dog. Not big. I don't care, it's a fish. Put the net down lower than that. Why is that fish? That fish just like stunned. Like he didn't do anything. It's not a bad hook set. Ooh, skin hooked him. Well, hey. That's one. One on the drop shot. No. God, I love this rod. getting them quick update we got a few clouds rolling in up here the wind's still garbage it's not as bad but we have not been catching any fish so I'm still sticking with the drop shot because it caught me a few small ones Caleb's still throwing his swim jig and his ultralight but we are still fishless I have a fish I cast it out and just let the bait sit I still think that these fish are suspended He's fighting, the rest of them weren't fighting. This is my new favorite zoom worm. Stay out of the trolling motor. The most awesome combination of black and red I've ever seen. Man, he got it down there. Mm, he twisted my line up completely. And terribly. Let's just go to the boat dock. I can't even fish this bait. The wind is so bad right now. Well, we tried. That's all we could do today. Uh, I'm just gonna stay on the motor, sling my spinner bait, get back to the truck, okay?
thought today was going to be a really good day on the water. I think there's something on the lens. We have to take care of that. We don't have those kinds of problems anymore. Yeah. Sleeve. Camera. Okay. It's the best I got right now, guys. So, I thought today was going to be a good day. This was, out of all the windy days this spring, this was the most brutal. I mean, it was brutal. Uh, trolling motor on one, and the boat went backwards. Now, my motor's way overrated for the boat it's on. That, that's a motor for a 21-foot bass boat. And on one, I couldn't fight the wind. I've never seen this lake white cap, but it was white cap in the day. Success, yeah, I was I was able to get bites. So if I was in a tournament, I wouldn't have zeroed. I wouldn't have a big fat goose egg, but uh what? man, I would have barely had three what three twelve inch fish, maybe barely. Um he got one, then he caught a bunch of brim at the end, which we didn't film because we got on the water at eleven, eleven ten, we got off the water at like four thirty, four forty. For an hour drive to fish for four and a half hours and then I just I couldn't take it anymore. So you could have given me the camera. And done what? You don't like wearing a hat cam. That's what you said. Oh no, 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 no. Don't take it back now. So that's it. Um I can take anything back. It'll be a while before y'all see this video because there's a couple more edits to come before this one. And hopefully when this edit pops up, I'll have another edit which is fire, where we actually catch fish to come up right behind it to redeem myself because this is not where it's at. A monkey. Mm. It's flooded. The monkey's flooded. The app is flooded. The James is flooded. Uh, everything's flooded. <laughs> so we're out. I'm going to the house. We got about an hour and 15 minute drive. So um, stop at the store, get some chips and he's already got chips. And uh, see you next one. Peace out.